Hi guys, it's a miserable wet day outside, so I've got no excuse for not sitting inside and having a look at this 3D printed boat I've been sent to work on. Now, the first thing I need to do is drill a hole through the middle of the prop shaft um, area here. I started off using a normal electric drill and made a little bit of progress. This is the first time I've touched 3D printing or something made using 3D printing and fairly quickly I realised that as soon as it heats up again it starts to melt. So I was being very gentle trying to get this to go in there and it was clogging up and I could feel it was going soft so what I ended up doing was using this bit of bicycle spoke. I filed a point on the end of it and I gently worked that in there and allowed it to get hot. And as it gets hot, it melts its own way through there. But you still need to keep it straight. But I have managed to get all the way through. So, we're through, but because I still need to open that hole up a bit more. So I have to find myself a, a bigger bit of wire and do the same thing and try and work my way up through there. The other alternative was just to cut that right out. Just have a single hole through the hole and the rest of it would be the prop shaft tube anyway. But I do rather like the way I've managed to get through there. I didn't think I was going to manage. I worked at it slowly, kept my fingers on either side so I could feel exactly where it was hot and getting soft. And just gently worked my way along. So I'm going to class that as step one and first success. I've been reading about how to actually join the parts of the boat together. There seems to be quite a lot of ideas as to how to do it. Um, friction weld is one method where you just get it hot again. And when you put the two pieces together, they will seal themselves if they're both hot. Um, various types of glue to use. And also heat welding it. Again, getting it hot and sticking it together when it's hot. Uh, even using a soldering iron and scrap uh, whatever this stuff is, PLA or whatever, and using that to fill the gap. Uh, this one's got some, uh, I can't remember what to call them, ties that will actually, they're the shape of the inside of the hole, and they're about uh, two centimeters wide, and they're actually supposed to go over the gap and glue that in place to give it strength. Anyway, I've got my hole through, but I need to make it bigger. Just a little follow on from that last bit. I ended up actually using the brass tube to drill the hole out to the size I needed. I managed to get that aluminium rod through, but I still needed the hole to be bigger. So I've got this brass tube and got it all the way through. So I intend that to be my um, propeller shaft tube, which I'll tidy it up a bit. that's through there. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases.
you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.